हेलो गाइस वेलकम अगेन टू माय फिल्मी वाला वी टू चैनल You want to entrust Chinger to me? Jia River, high tide. I have no problem with her following me. However, don't you need my help in notifying the Vermilion Bird Temple or the Dehuanchi sect? Monk Shinshou? It's not necessary. The venom has infiltrated my core, irreversibly sealing my fate. Before long, I will dissipate and transcend. I'm from the Dehuanchi sect. I've spent a lifetime as a monk. I upheld strict precepts, yet I've stirred the heart of Miss Xia. I've neither lived up to the role of Qin Wuk nor Xin Xiao. A life of utter absurdity. Never true to my heart. After the truth is laid bare, there's no reclaiming what's lost. But finally, the shackles are lifted. No more pretense, deceiving others and myself. As the sun rises from the east and sets in the west, as the river tides rise and fall, destinies are preordained, and the same is true for humans as well. I've settled all karmic debts, I am free. Do you hear that roar? These are the roaring tides of Jia River. What a magnificent sound! I hear it. Jia River experiences two great tides every year, and today marks the greatest of them all. When I traveled the world before, I once encountered a great monk who imparted a Buddhist hymn to me. Capture Xia when you meet her, see Shi when you meet him. When you hear the tide, complete the circle. When you see faithful, enter silence. The first half of the hymn has already been fulfilled. Now, it is time to fulfill the second half. In my life, I never cultivated goodness, relishing only murder and arson. Suddenly my golden shackles have been opened. Here my jade locks have been pulled asunder. Alas, hereby the Jaya River tide approaches, now I finally realize that I am, what I am. Kinger, such effulgence, is is that, arg, so painful. that Shakyamuni Buddha? I Hi, I'm alright. After listening to the monk's voice, I don't feel pain. Is monk Shang Tsu praying? Why doesn't it sound like that? Provided I become a Buddha, if in that Buddha country of mine there should be either hell, or the animal state of existence, or the realm of hungry ghost, then may I not attain the enlightenment? Provided I become a Buddha, if all the sentient beings, who are born in the worlds of ten quarters, should not all be of the color of genuine gold, then may I not attain the enlightenment, provided I become a Buddha, if in that country of mine the beings who are born there should, 
not be possessed of the supernormal knowledge of recollecting the previous lives of themselves and knowing the events of evolution of hundred thousand Nauta years of Kalpas, then may I not attain the enlightenment. Provided I become a Buddha, if the beings of that country of mine, should not all possess of the heavenly step which can in the shortest moment of one thought, travel over a hundred thousand kodas of Nauta of Buddha countries, then may I not attain the enlightenment. Provided I become a Buddha, if in that country of mine the beings who are born, there should not all be firmly established in absolute truth, till they have reached Mahanirvana, then may I not attain the enlightenment. To save all sentient beings, one generates the Bodhi mind, not seeking the supreme path for oneself. May sentient beings be free from suffering and attain joy, swiftly realizing the Bodhi, Amitabha Excellent Wah! Don't go, monk! Chinger! After Shinshou completed the verse resembling Buddhist scriptures, his entire being underwent a profound transformation. Following the celestial Buddhas, he stepped into the resplendent abyss in the heavens, vanishing from this world. This is all that happened after I encountered Shinsho. I hope the great masters wouldn't fault me for withholding this matter. After all, monk Shinsho's identity is special. He preferred not to continue causing disturbances after his passing, so I refrained from contacting the Vermilion Bird Temple. I don't know much about the Buddhist path, however, what happened to Shinshou could be considered a miracle. Maybe, the final outcome was good, isn't it? Even if the monk has left he will remain in my heart forever. Damn, I was busy outside when I had to return midway when I was called by Ching'er. The matter of Shinshou and the Vermilion Bird Temple finally blew up. Fortunately, I was prepared early. Early on, I had cooked up a story and waited for them. Anyway, with no evidence, I can still elevate Shinshou a bit more. It can be considered a fitting conclusion for that guy. Only after venerable monks of great virtue pass away can the world manifest various extraordinary phenomena. With the Buddha's welcome phenomenon, Shinshou has indeed attained the status of an arhat. Hereby the Jia River tide approaches. Now I finally realize that I am what I am. Looks like Shinsho is finally emancipated. However, the place where Donor Xia bid farewell to Shinsho turned out to be the Jia River. That location is quite a distance from the Jia ruins, especially given Shinsho's injured condition. Hmm. Perhaps monk Shinsho wanted to fulfill the verse gifted to him by that eminent monk? Actually, I wanted to weave in a bit of Lu Zhishen. Unfortunately, we have no idea who this great monk was capable of offering Shinsho such accurate verses. Donor Xia, did Shinsho not reveal the origin of that monk? No, monk Shinsho mentioned him only once and didn't elaborate. That's not relevant. What's more important is that Shinsho is emancipated. He successfully cultivated achieved enlightenment. Not just emancipation. In the end, Shinsho made a profound vow. This is the vow to attain enlightenment. I've never heard of the term great oath to attain enlightenment. Clearly, Shinsho had a personal epiphany, transcending himself after breaking free from the cycle of karma. Actually, the Buddhism that Shinsho practiced is unique. In the end, he did not leave behind a golden relic. Do not notice? Final vow wasn't to enlighten himself, but to enlighten others. Vermilion Bird Temple's Deputy Abbot, Innate Realm, Fifth Layer, Qingjing. Donor Xia, you mentioned earlier that the celestial Buddhas came to welcome Shinsho. I would like to inquire, what do these celestial Buddhas look like? The effulgence of the Buddhas was so intense that I dared not scrutinize them closely. I could only discern the fleshy protuberance on their heads, resembling small topknots. 
Behind their heads, there was a circular halo, but the detailed features escaped my memory. The fleshy protuberance and the halos are the symbols of the Buddha. They are the celestial Buddhas indeed. The Tao that Shinsho walks upon is everyone can become a Buddha. Through his self-transcendence, he attests to the path he follows. In the end, Shinsho uttered Amaba. Could it be that he attained was not the status of an Arhat but that of a Buddha? A new Buddha? Elder Marshal Brother Ching Jing, if Shinsho's Buddhism has indeed been validated. Wouldn't that mean, wouldn't it? Excellent, delivering all living beings from suffering, everyone can become a Buddha. Shinshio, by his individual effort, has discovered a new path. Even if helping others attain enlightenment leads to positive outcomes, has Shinshio himself achieved salvation? So, he took the great oath to attain enlightenment. Could it be that Shinshio's path, where everyone can become a Buddha, requires the utterance of a great oath to achieve enlightenment? I haven't said anything, these are all your own conjectures. However, if I were to stand before them wearing Shinshio's mask right now, I would undoubtedly amass a large wave of origin points. Unfortunately, I don't dare. There is always a chance to find Shinsho's Dao. Currently, Junior Marshal Brother Kong Ming is at the Southern Shrine. You should inform him of this matter first. Indeed, Elder Marshal Brother Kong Ming, as Shinsho's master, has already devoted too much attention. It's time to conclude this. This time. We would like to thank Donor Xia for dispelling our doubts. Hey, I never intended to inform you voluntarily, yet the Great Masters encountered Qing'er and learned of this matter. It's all fate. Are the Great Masters leaving? Then. By the way, there is still Qing'er. Since Xinxiao has attained enlightenment and transcended this world, the Vermilion Bird Temple cannot ignore Qing'er. Ah? Gu? During this period, it's been troublesome for Donor Xia to take care of her. From now on, on behalf of Xinxiao, the Vermilion Bird Temple will continue to care for Qing'er. Don't be afraid, Qing'er. Although we monks are not that good at Buddhism, the Vermilion Bird Temple is full of talents. They will surely guide you smoothly. Looking at it this way, you are Shinsho's orphan. Don't worry, we will definitely take good care of you. No, no, no. Monk Shinsho said Lord Xiaoyan's Buddha nature is no less than his own. Only by staying with Lord Xiaoyan can I possibly achieve enlightenment and even transcend to become a Buddha. Donor Xia has a Buddha nature? Donor Xia's Buddha nature is no less than that of Shinsho? Can staying with Donor Xia help one attain Buddhahood? I don't understand much about Buddha nature, and so on. But although I'm not particularly talented, I could engage in light-hearted conversations with Monk Shinsho. Chinger's flattering remarks came just in time. These three monks nearly took away Chinger's custody. All right, since Shinsho entrusted Chinger's to Donor Xia, he must have his reasons. The three of you should go back. Elder Marshal Brother Ching Jing, everyone can become a Buddha. This is a new field of study. We haven't even learned how to guide humans, so how can we guide a ghost? Don't bother Chinger, let her follow Donor Xia. Chinger is genuinely happy following the hero, without a trace of resentment. Who knows, she might end up attaining Buddhahood joyfully one day. Hero, didn't you mention that Chinger is your guardian spirit? Is she really adopted, don't worry too much. Excellent. Since Shinsho has acknowledged Donor Xia. And Elder Marshal Brother Ching Jing and the young donor also say so, we won't make things difficult for the ghost, we'll return to the southern shrine first. Farewell. How many times do I have to tell you? I've long since taken refuge in Buddhism. Please don't call me donor like the blind monk. Haha, <laughs> embracing Buddhism is a journey, not a mere completion of a ceremony. Young donor, there's no need to rush. <laughs> now that the matter with Shinsho has been settled, would you like to continue our game of chess, young donor? Don't forget to like and subscribe this channel.